we've got obtuse and scalene triangles. Do you remember those days in geometry class? It's been a while. Hey, this is Carrie with Canary Quilts, and this is the day four of week three of the 30 days of improv quilt along. This has been so much fun. I have really enjoyed myself. I've got one more day this week and next week, and then it's over. As far as the quilt along, I could do this anytime. But anyway, this week we're working with triangles. Week one, we worked with squares and rectangles. Week two, we worked with polygons. And this week we're working with triangles. So today was to work with obtuse, which is um, where a triangle has a really wide angle, more than 90 degrees. And scaling, which is where the none of the three sides of a triangle are the same length. So, forgot that one. I remembered obtuse, but I did not remember scaling. So, I kind of feel like I've been doing that, but I just kind of worked with it a little more today. And uh, I cut some obtuse, I cut some scalings, and then I kind of rearranged them how I wanted them, started putting them together. Kind of got these like half rectangle. It's right here. So that was kind of cool. And then put them together. And then I made just this sort of flying geese block right here, put it all together, and uh, finished it out here so I could have a five and a half inch block. And I used my rose colored fabrics today. Um, from my fat quarter bundle, which I have a link to that down below if you like if you like these cat fabrics or if you love these fabrics like I do. These are Bella solids in amethyst colors. But uh, and I have a link to the quilt along down below if you want to start. It, you can start now, um, so you can catch up. It's a lot of fun. Um, anyway, if you want to follow along, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You get notified as I. Um, finish this week out, get next week up, and you can check out my uh, videos from the last couple weeks also. So they've been a lot of fun. And let me know in the comments if you're doing this. I'd like to know. So let's get started with our geometry class. Just kidding. Okay, we are on day four of week three of our 30 days of uh, improv quilt along. And today they want you to lean into the wonk by creating scalene and obtuse triangles. Really lean into the big angles and different sizes. So scalene is where the, the sides of the triangle, none of them are the same length. And then obtuse is where one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees. So it's a pretty big angle. Um, so I will try to do that. I feel like I've kind of been doing that anyway, but I will work in larger pieces today. So let's see where that leads us. <laughs> I am going to work with the rosy colors of my amethyst fat quarter bundle today. And uh, if you like the colors, I got the link down below, just like I do in all my other videos, um, to this set of fat quarters. But anyway, let's see where this takes me today.
Well, there we go. There's day four. I feel like I achieved the scalene and obtuse triangles. Uh, I don't know about the wonk, but I don't know. I think all these weird angles are just kind of wonky anyway, so I like it. I tried to work with bigger pieces. Well, that, that is, I'll have to get that later. Tried to work with bigger pieces, and I did. I tried to make like these half rectangle, half rectangles out of triangles by putting them together, cutting them up. Um, you know, it turned out pretty cool. And then I tried a little flying geese unit up here. So that's why I added this strip was to kind of preserve this flying goose I have right here. So there you go, day four in the books. Fun, fun, fun. Um, let me know if you're doing this. I've had a few people comment that they're following along and giving it a try, um, which is cool. It's it's very freeing. It really like makes you uh, it really makes you think, and it gives you a perspective when you're working on pattern blocks or classic blocks. It really just kind of uh, gives you a fresh perspective on things by doing this improv um, type of stuff. So, we got one more block in our triangles, um, and uh, then we'll be done for the week. So, it's really been a lot of fun. I really like the color palette I chose this week, and um, I enjoyed putting this block together. I enjoyed doing this video, and if you want to keep uh, following along, hit the subscribe button notification bell, and you get notified when I put up my next videos. So, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next.